trying the African sauna. Rwanda is a bit different than other countries when it comes to marriage. Mm -hmm. um, here you have to be 21 yeah. to marry, otherwise uh, you'll go seven years in prison. Yeah, 12 years, about around 12 or seven years in prison. <laughs> so you need to choose. You can wait your wife to have 21 years, then you can be married. But uh, you can't put a wife at home before 21 years old. Okay. It's legal, all Randis know that. But some some people do. <laughs> so it's, we but, wouldn't uh, recommend it. Yeah, it's, uh, when government uh, fund you, uh, they put in courts. 21. 21. 21. Yeah. This is my first time trying an African sauna. Yeah. How, how is it like? Is it different from the normal one? Yeah, it's different because here it's uh, it's uh, like uh, all thing is culture. It's, it's, it's using culture for African culture. Yeah. yeah. And you said something with the fire? Yeah, yeah, they start in the fire. We can go to see how they make fire. Yeah. And then we go in, inside in the sauna without anything. Mommy! So here they put uh, trees and uh, make fire. Yeah. Uh, the fire yeah. give uh, a lot of or hotness in the inside. This is how the African uh, sauna started. So we start from here and then we go uh, inside. Yeah. The African sauna right here? Sure. Uh, to produce heat. Yeah. So now ready to try an African sauna for the first time? Yeah. And uh, we look so stylish. So. You ready to go? Yep. African sauna? Yeah, this is African sauna. Okay, let's go. Come inside and let's go and check it out. Make so yeah. we're inside the African sauna. I don't know how much you can see. It's really foggy in there. Yeah. Um, <coughs> oh, Product that little match. smells and uh, yeah. uh, crazy stuff. Oh my God, that was so hot. The smoke is coming out of us. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We so look like someone who had oil all over us, mm. but uh, we have just been in an African summer. Now we will take a little break and then we'll go in again for the second round. So we need to do three rounds or four rounds and then we go back. I will lose 10 kilograms. Sure. <laughs> also, if you open the mouth, you cough very easily, but it's a really good feeling when you come out and have a cold glass of water. It's important not to dehydrate in an African sauna. Cold glass of water. Really good. One really more piece. <laughs> the first round, it's so good. And you know, like in boxing, you have round one, round two, um, yeah. round three. Yeah. When do you think you will have the KO? When will you have a knockout? <laughs> but the round, it depends with your body. If you have a good uh, stuff and muscles, you can stay there a long time. Now we will go in the African sauna again. Oh, I heard someone already went in, so. Just came out from round two and uh, I'm so damn sweaty. Now I'll go in and have some dead skin removed by the guy here. I was just tortured for one hour in a random sauna and my body never felt better than this on the front and on the back. I will sleep like a baby tonight, for sure. sure. He pushes really hard on the front and on the back and uh, yeah, you feel really good afterwards, I would say. Sure. Yeah. Everything's good. Yeah, so uh, if you come to Rwanda, then I would definitely recommend you to try this. I think all my dead skin is removed now and I just feel yeah. so good. So, um, sure. nice experience. If you haven't tried an African sauna, you should definitely try it. It's uh, an experience that really is different from the normal sauna we know from Finland and Estonia. Cow meat and rice. Yep. And the piripiri. And piripiri. Yep. 